so fast. It's, it looks fine now. It looks fine. Yeah, it looks fine. You can. Okay, we're rolling for Todd's uh, video to show him how to power up this beautiful Lionel layout that we had built for him. So okay, take it away, Jonathan. So obviously, once um, once everything's finished, there's going to be the light switch for you to turn everything on and off. But for now, there's a power strip right under here that you can see. Yep. And you just pop it on, and then the layout's on. So first of all, here's your ZW here that turns on with the power. Um, your lights are on this ring here, not the throttles, but this ring. And you can turn it up. And there's a little line here that you can match up for the right voltage. And you can leave it at that. And we'll leave it at that. It can stay on. You don't have to shut that down when you turn the power off. You can just leave the ring like that at all times. So, so that's for the lights. And um, this is a little panel for the accessories. Um, we have uh, your uh, gateman, which is right here. Uh, there's a train in the way. Uh, the gateman's right here is an on-off switch that turns the light on and off. And when it's on, you can actually push the button down and he will pop out. Now, because this is brand new and kind of clunky, it's still working itself out here. But you just kind of open up the door a little bit more. There you go. Now it should be coming in and out. Just like that. There we go. Shut it off. Uh, we have the one switch to the siding right here. That'll be on when your track power's on. So... Trains in neutral right now, right? Yep, trains in neutral. I can't throw it because I'm sitting on the switch, but... Oh. So with track power on, you see... Red, green, red, green. And then the... Also, while the track power is on, we have the operating track, which is right here. We have a dump car for you that once it's sitting over it... Oh. When it's sitting over the track, if you hit the button on here, it will dump the logs out. So. Okay. And um, to reset it, just click it back down. Put the logs back. You have your water tower uh, push button. So you just push it down, drops it down, push it down. Just a button. And then a toggle switch on and off for your uh, the little kid that swings on the tire. You turn it on and he's in the, in the yard there swinging. So now, we can show you the trains. Uh, the bottom level is labeled on this, this throttle, and then the top level is labeled on the opposite throttle. So you may remember uh, how to drive these. You have forward, neutral, 
backwards and neutral. It toggles between them with, with uh, the power getting to it. So right now it's in neutral, I believe. Now it's in forward. They don't want to go too fast with them because they will fly off the track. You can adjust it accordingly. Same thing with the top level. Backwards, neutral, forward. You have two hatches um, for the layout um, in case you need to get further in for whatever reason. Where the tire swing is, if you go underneath you'll see handles, metal handles that you can push up on. They, all, they push out. Where the tire swing is is one area and also where uh, this Bob's Country Store building, that's another hatch for there. And from there you can reach pretty much everything on the layout from either one. And um, you don't have to worry about any wires for the lights or the tire swing or anything because they touch contacts when you put it back in. They'll make the connection, so you don't have to worry about unplugging anything. That's it. <laughs> Thank you.